Hundreds of fish at a popular Harriman pond were found dead, and biologists are trying to figure out why. New specialist Shelby Lofton tells us what we know about this massive fish kill that led DWR teams to close the pond. It looks like most of these fish have been cleaned out of the water, but an angler I spoke to said when she was here on Sunday, she thought hundreds were floating on the surface of the water. We've never seen anything like this. A peaceful Sunday afternoon on the banks of Cove Pond. I see small children fish in this pond. Did not go as planned for Aspen Scott Bamey and her boyfriend. Why are they trying to kill catfish? Definitely walking up on this was devastating. This pond she's visited several times before, now filled with dead fish. All of the catfish had floated to the top, as well as a bunch of baby fish. Utah Division of Wildlife Resources estimates more than 500 fish died. Our biologists found out that there were lethally low levels of dissolved oxygen. What caused that low level, uh, we're investigating now with the Department of Environmental Quality. Scott Root said some fish kills are caused by chemicals. On rare occasion, you might have a, so much heat that it could kill fish. But we think this is more than just heat. The pond is temporarily closed. It's crazy to think that we were just there a couple weeks ago. When we come back, they're all dead. Bruce says anyone who's recently fished here should not eat what they caught. It could be dangerous. Anytime we have like a fish kill that could be chemical related, we ask people not to consume fish. We don't want anybody to get sick. Brute said if the cause of death is chemical related, it's likely that chemical will dissolve. Then they can start over. We'll start stocking trout, you know, once we find out what's going on there. Anglers hope experts can get to the bottom of this. If we don't treat the environment better, one day we will lose the environment. DWR recommends people stay away from this water and not even fish here for at least a month. In Harriman, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.